So I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person who's been getting straight up spoon fed all this unwarranted information about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. The more I hear about it, the more the game is just terrible. It's just bad. There's a lot of different reasons why people would say it's bad. Given Kevin Conroy's last performance as Batman, the fact that Batman dies, or the other Justice League member dies, and that is set in the Arkham universe. Honestly, I think my main issue with Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League is just the fact that it takes place in the Arkham universe. That just being set in that universe makes no sense whatsoever in just the most stupidest ways that has to be retconned which just doesn't make any sense so i feel like the main thing that everyone is talking about is the deadshot retcon which there was an entire animated movie about the suicide squad even being formed a while ago <laughs> and deadshot in the movie had a daughter but apparently that that that's not canon now but but this game is where apparently the other floyd was a fake bro what i another thing that kind of bothered me i get that the game is called suicide squad kills the justice league but i feel like if all the justice league members are dead wouldn't their universe be kind of fucked anyway in in literally the terms of who's gonna save the world whenever there's another intergalactic space battle like the the the, the fucking <laughs> the fucking suicide squad the 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 military <laughs> fucking lex luther and waller <laughs> It's just, it's just kind of, it's like GG's for that entire world. I think towards the end of the game, they've suddenly mentioned different dimensions. I know there was a trailer showing Joker coming from a different dimension, which literally doesn't make any sense. I'm going to assume that they only figured out this interdimensional shenanigans towards the end of the game because it's looking, it's looking a little familiar to another said DC game where they were able to pull DC character from one universe to another and have them fight each other, which personally, if they were able to do that, it would have made more sense to try to get other non-mind controlled heroes to help capture the Justice League members, but it just doesn't make sense for longevity and story-wise. Also, I had a rant that I was going to mention about the fact that couldn't the Justice League members get captured or something in the little Pokemon ball that they put Brainiac towards the end of the game, but I'm assuming they were linked to some sort of shield on how they even got mind controlled in the first place. I, I won't say too much because I haven't played the game, but I know some so much about it that it bothers me that just everything I'm seeing is just not good. The Batman boss fight, I feel like that could have been done a lot better, especially from being in the Arkham universe instead of Scarecrow giant boss fight. Story-wise, I feel like it's kind of stupid being in the Arkham universe. There's a lot of retcons that they have to do even to just change a dude's race. <laughs> the Justice League members dying doesn't make sense either for like in-universe reasons. The world's kind of doomed, I would feel like. And I feel like a lot of the issues could be fixed if it just wasn't in the Arkham universe. I don't understand how them even saying it's in the Arkham universe would draw more eyes to the game than just having a random universe where the Justice League members are controlled. Because it's like you have to put into your logic all the four games in the Batman universe in the movie. But no, you're going to scratch the movie because that doesn't make sense because Floyd has his daughter at the end of that movie. And also we're forming the Justice League for the first time. So. That movie does not count. And, you know, I'm not even like a big Batman fan as much as the other people that are mad. I've never, I don't think I've ever beaten any of the Arkham games. So I'm not, I'm not that attached to the Batman character. It's just the way that the game is set up is, does not seem that great in my opinion in terms of like i guess boss fights but i haven't played the game i've seen a lot more than i'm willing to want to see that's just what i feel like bothers me about the game it doesn't make any sense story wise i'm not gonna harp on the battle pass or live service or whatever that because it's there's there's already it's, it's already been said thanks for watching i really appreciate it these are the current follow numbers in sub numbers from youtube and twitch on youtube we are now at 317 subscribers and on twitch we are at 
238. And only you, person watching this video, has the power to change these numbers in the next video. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and goodbye!